topics for the videos is the number sequences. Last video, we've been talking about basics of algebra and one of the definitions of algebra is finding a pattern or rule for the unknown values, right? So, I think the number sequences are algebra as well because the number sequences are the set of numbers that follow a rule or patterns. So, the main goal of the videos will be finding the formula for the number sequences. So, we especially focus on linear number sequences and non-linear number sequences. Then, to find the formula, we are going to use our algebra skills and special number skills. Let's begin with linear number sequences. So what is linear number sequences? The difference between terms increase or decrease by the same value each time. And what does the term mean in this sentence? Terms are called the numbers, each numbers in the number sequences. Let's have a look at the below the number sequences and then find the missing numbers. So when you have a number sequences, always try to figure out the common difference. So difference between 2 and 6 is 4 and then 6 and 10, 4. So it looks like uh, the numbers are increasing and numbers increase by the 4, right? Then if you add a 4 to 10, that gives you 14. Let's double check with it. Add a 4 makes 18. So this number sequence increased by 4. The next one, you've got a minus 18 and minus 11. What's the difference between two negative number? Is 7, right? So the number increased by 7. And now minus 11, add 7, it gives you minus 4, right? Then let's see, let's double check. If you add 7 or minus 4, that gives you 3. That's why the number sequences increase by 7. So let's have a look at the next one. So 16 to 13, then the numbers are getting smaller, right? So it decreased by 3. So that's why I'm going to write down minus 3. Then 13, take away 3 gives you 10. Then 10 minus 3 gives you 7. So we can say this number sequence decreased by 3. So minus 3. Then now we've got a fraction. Fractions are numbers as well. Then it's the same. So let's find the common difference between the fractions. So I think it's better to find the easier numbers. We've got a one quarter and one half is a two quarter, right? Then it's easier to see the difference. So now two quarter take away one quarter, it gives you one quarter. So I can see the pattern. So the numbers, uh, the numbers increase by one quarter. So minus half add one quarter is minus two half add one quarter gives you minus one. See then minus one quarter add one quarter gives you zero. So this pattern, the numbers increase by one quarter. Then now here is a pattern. Then now if I ask you to find the fifth numbers. Then, how will you find the number? Are you going to write down all the numbers up to 50th number? I think that's not a good idea. So, to find the fifth number, I'm going to introduce you a new word that is nth term. So, whenever you see nth term, that means it's a formula for the sequence, formula with the variable n. And n helps you find the number in the sequence without having to go up uh, from one term to next. Let's have a look at the number sequence. This number sequence increased by 4, right? So, and I'm going to use a 4 to write down these numbers. First number is a 2 and then increased by 4. That's why I'm going to write down 2 add 4. It gives you 6, right? Then the next number increased by 4 again. So I just copied down the previous number. 2 add 4. Then add another 4. Our fourth number is increased by 4. So I copy down the previous number. 2 add 4, add 4. Then add another 4. It looks like we keep adding 
four from our first number, right? Then how about nth term? So nth term means again, nth is a variable, so it can be 50th number, it can be 100th number, or it can be 25th number, it can be any number, right? So now, how can you find the nth number, nth term? So let's see the pattern. Can you see patterns? I'm going to, I'm going to circle all the first number. All the terms has got a 2, then add up certain loss of force, right? Second number has got 1 loss of 4, and third number add 2 loss of 4. Fourth number add 3 loss of 4. There, I think we can find the pattern. So your nth number, it begins with the first number 2, right? Then now, the thing you need to think about is how many fours will be added. So now, let's see. And loss of fours, you're going to add up, but think about how many loss of ends. Let's see the pattern. Second number, add 1 loss of 4. Third number, add 2 loss of for fourth number at three loss of it looks like one less than its position, right? So I can write n minus one loss of four added to the first number. So let's say two plus n. So two plus loss of four. How many loss of four? four? N minus one loss of four added to the first number. This is the formula for the, this number sequence, then we learn the algebra, right? So we can't leave our expression like this. We need to simplify it by expanding brackets. Now let's simplify the expression. So 2 plus 4n minus 4, then collect the like terms, 4n minus 2. So 4n minus 2 is the final formula for the term. Then now we can figure it out, our fifth number. Then before we do it then, let's organize what we've done so far. So, so have a look at this one. When it comes to the linear number sequences, if the numbers increase or decrease by the same number, you can always use this formula. So first number add, and minus one times common difference. And now, whenever you've got a linear number sequences, try to identify your first number, that is a two, then find out your common difference, increase by four, then your nth term is two plus, first number plus, and minus one times common difference, four. Then, all you need to do is simplify your expression. So four and minus four, then 4n minus 2 is your final formula. Then all we need to do is substitute the numbers inside the n. So 20th number. To find the 20th number, don't write down all the 20 numbers. Just put 20 inside the n. So you've got a 4 times 20 minus 2. That, that gives you 78, so your 20th term is just 78. Then now, 50th number means your n is a 50, then 4 times 50 minus 2 is 200 minus 2 is 198 is your 50th term. So, now let's move on to the next one. We already found that this pattern is Decrease by 3, right? So identify our first number, that is a 16, then it decreased by 3. That's why I'm going to write common difference as a minus 3. So once you identify your first number, then common difference, then we can use our nth term formula is first number add, add minus 1 loss of common difference times, be careful with the negative sign. Then let's simplify our expression. So distributing minus 3 to the numbers, the terms in the brackets. So 16 plus then minus 3n, right? Then minus 1 times minus 3 gives you a positive 3. So now minus 3n plus 19 is our final formula. Then you can put any numbers in your n, right? 
So now your variable n is 20. If you're looking for 20's number, then minus 3 times 20 plus 19 is minus 60 plus 19. It gives you 40 minus 41. Then if you're looking for 50's number, your n equals 50. So again, so minus 3 times 50 plus 19, then minus 150 plus 19, it gives you one minus 131. Next number sequence is, then identify first number that is minus 18, then common difference. So let's see this. Adding 7 each time, right? Increase by 7. So common difference is 7. And start always first number, add up, n minus 1, lots of common difference. So it gives you, let's simplify our expression. Then minus 18 plus 7n minus 7, and it gives you 7n minus 25. Then let's practice let's find our 20s number and equal 20 then 7 times 20 minus 25 that is 140 take with 25 is 115 our 50s number n is 50 so substitute 50 into n it gives you 350 take away 25 is 320 Five. I made a mistake, this is 325, okay? Then, now this is a fraction number sequences. It's the same. Identify first number, that's minus half, and we know that we figured out the common difference was a quarter, right? So, your common difference is a quarter, same as we write down our first number, minus a half, plus n minus one times quarter. So let's simplify our expression. So distributing quarters, so minus a half plus one quarter n minus one quarter. Then if we calculate it, my, uh, one quarter n, then minus half minus quarter, either minus three quarter, right? This is our formula. Then let's find our 20th number n equal 20 minus quarter times 20 minus 3 quarter. So that minus quarter times 20 is a 20 quarter. Minus 3 quarter is 17 quarter. Let's make it into mixed number. That is a 4 and 1 quarter. Our 50th number, 50th term is 1 quarter times 50. That is a 50 quarter, take away 3 quarter is, so 50 quarter take away 3 quarter gives you 47 quarters, right? So let's make it mix number. How many holes can you see? 11 holes, right? You've got 3 quarter left, so 11 and 3 quarter is your 50th term. Now, as you can see, when you realize that the numbers increase or decrease by the same number, you can always use the pattern. First number, add n minus 1 times the common difference. Now, have a look at this one. This is a bit special. Can you recognize these numbers? The earlier I said you try to use your number knowledge, right? Say so these are special numbers. What are they? They are all even numbers, right? So I'm going to introduce you a even number sequence. So these are even number sequence. So now, actually even number sequence is, a sequence is a linear number sequence, the same. So you just write down your first number, find the difference, then we can use first number, add n minus one times common difference two. Then it gives you 2n, then plus 2, minus 2. So just 2n, right? When you simplify, 2n. So now, whenever you see even numbers, then just automatically think that our formula is a 2n. n is a 20, so 2 times 20 is a 40. 
Then now you will see the question. If I ask you, what is the hundredth even number? It didn't say anything about the sequence. It just asked you to find the hundredth even number. What are you going to do? Are you going to write down all the even numbers from 2 to all the way up to your hundredths even number? No, because we know that our formula for even number sequence is 20. Use your formula. 2 times 100. So our hundredths even number is 200. Now have a look at these numbers. Can you recognize the numbers? These are the special numbers, right? Okay, let's see the first number is 1 and the common difference 2 and these numbers are all all the numbers, right? So these numbers are all odd numbers, so this is odd number sequence. Then let's find our nth term. First number, add n minus 1 times 2. Then let's simplify it. 1 plus 2n minus 2 gives you 2n minus 1. Now again, whenever you see odd number sequence, Remember, formula is 2n minus 1. When n is 20, it gives you 20 times 2 minus 1 is 39. Then, if you see the question like this, what is the hundredth odd number? Don't write down all the odd numbers from 1. So, just use our odd number sequence that is 2n minus 1. So, your n is 100, 2 times n minus 1, it gives you 199. Okay, so this video is all about the linear number sequences. What is the linear number sequence? So the numbers that increase or decrease by the same number, then to find the formula for the linear number sequence, first of all, identify first number, then identify your common difference. Then what you need to do is First number add n minus 1 times common difference. Then we also talked about the special number sequence that was even number sequence and odd number sequence. So remember the formula of these number sequence even number is 2n, odd number is 2n minus 1. So if you clearly understand all of this, very good. If you're not sure, please watch the video again. Then I will see you at next lesson. Bye!